Ancient folktales used the term toadstool to define poisonous, large-capped mushrooms on which toads were believed to habitually rest. Since then, the difference between mushrooms and toadstools has become somewhat blurry. Even Wikipedia groups them together and defines mushrooms synonymously with toadstool. Both names are, however, unscientific labels to define different varieties of fungus. However, there is a popular consensus that while mushrooms are white-capped species that grow in fields and are safe and edible, toadstools are inedible or poisonous species of fungi, but yet are identical twins to mushrooms. Their consumption can cause minor gastrointestinal infections, psychosomatic issues such as confusion and anxiety, or even death. The Oxford Dictionary defines them as follows. Mushroom, a fungal growth that typically takes the form of a domed cap on a stalk with gills on the underside of the cap. Toadstool, the spore-bearing fruiting body of a fungus, typically in the form of a rounded cap on a stalk, especially one that is believed to be inedible or poisonous. From these dictionary definitions, it may seem that mushrooms are gilled fungi, while toadstools are fungi that are believed to be inedible or toxic. However, since the resemblance of their appearances is so similar, any forager hiking through a forest or dense hill may easily mistake a toadstool for a mushroom and end up either hallucinating vivid unicorns or sitting in a hospital with liver or kidney failure. This is a terrifying thought, given the innumerable species of fungi out there and our apparent lack of knowledge on the subject. So, how can we identify the harmless ones? Caution is imperative, but classifying mushrooms is a difficult task. The term mushroom is loosely used and does not provide a full account of every species of mushroom there is. Some have spores underneath, while some have spines, and several are not gilled. The term resembles a class of macroscopic fungal fruiting bodies, rather than a class structured on precise taxonomic knowledge. There is no single trait by which all toxic or edible mushrooms can be identified. Visual or tactile identification requires meticulous attention to detail, one must consider its color, size, pores, gills, spore color, flesh color, habitat, vulva, stem color, roots, smell, and many other characteristics before devouring a bunch of freshly found mushrooms. Or, you can just refer to molecular data to gain even more clarity. Molecular classification is the optimum way to distinguish edible mushrooms from toxic toadstools. That said, I have yet to witness a forager who carries expensive microscopes and scalpels on his hikes.